Once you have your uh, base coat dr completely dry, you can then add some patterns and texture. And this is an example of scales added, but I also wanted you to see how to add um, fur. And to make fur, you would um, have your base coat painted and dry, and I'll just show you an example on this um, brown piece of paper here. Um, once the base coat is dry, uh, you can paint it, actually paint it in, or you can use your oil pastels. And with the oil pastels, you could either choose a lighter or darker value. So say if I want to do a brown bunny or a brown fox, I could then draw, actually draw in the fur with my oil pastel. And you don't want to do things exactly in straight rows like that. You want to kind of curve it. And if you look, you'll see the natural way the fur grows. It's kind of in a curve. And if the, the subject you're making has short hair, then your little strokes are shorter right in here. And you can blend them with the oil pastels with different values. This is a dark value brown and a, and a tan. And once your base coat, say, is a medium value, then these colors will show up. So I can intermingle them. And I'm not hiding my base color, this brown. I'm just kind of putting this texture in. This kind of curvy. Again, it's, it's like this I'm drawing. It's almost like a C curve and then a backward C. C, backward C. It's just a slight curve. And I do several. And I do some high, some low. And then I fill in between. And that's a fur texture. And again, you don't even have to use natural fur colors. Say if you made a, a pink bunny, you could do pink fur. Um, and it, to bring out very dark, you can even do some, this is just adding a little bit of this blue and this very lightly. And this shows like shadows. And then go back over it with your, your other oil pastels. And you're working up several together at the same time. And that gives you a nice fur texture. Um, also, you could do, um, if you're going to be doing stripes, say you make a zebra and you want to put some stripes in. So if this was your zebra, you could do your, your brush and then you start out with on the edge of the zebra and then you lightly lift up the brush so that it ends in a point. This could also be a tiger stripe and I go from the edge it's thicker, it's a graduated, goes from thicker to thin. And then on the other side of the tiger, I do the same, keeping this a very skinny point, and it goes thin to thick, like that. So you find the edge of your zebra or the edge of your tiger, or anything that has stripes, lizards, and then there it is. But you wanna have it so that it's thick to thin. And that's easy to paint in. Another kind of texture you can add is, I'll show you how to do some scales on your subject. And you can even mix colors too. I'll show you how to do that. If I want to do, first of all, I'll start off with a medium green. And to have very little on your brush, you can print, press, press, and you can alter or do it random or you can do it in a row, depending on what you're trying to make. So pressing, just pressing the brush, and I lay the brush down sideways, lift and press, lift and press. And this could be texture like that. If you don't like an area where it's too dark, you can pick it up and move the color. And then you can also alternate with, now this is just, I'm dipping into a darker value green, and I'm just putting a little bit of darker value also, so it's not all the same. And this can give you uh, scales. This could be fish scales. This could be, if you, so you would do it sideways, so your fish swims this way horizontally. So this could be your fish scales, just push it this way. This could be even feathers for a bird, tiny feathers. And you can use different values. Say if your bird goes from, it has some dark feathers up at the top, and then it goes to your lighter colors at the bottom as the feathers change and you can blend them in. 
But once you have your base color, then th this is easy to add. It's easy to add your texture or pattern to it on top. So this could be scales, feathers, uh, even a fur texture even this would work for. It depends. Uh, so you can use your imagination on that.